sewing right away with the easy to use Brother XM2701. It's perfect for beginners or for more advanced sewers looking for a great portable machine. The 27 built-in stitches include stitches for everyday sewing, blind hems, quilting, and decorative stitches. Selecting your stitch is as easy as turning a dial, and the one-step buttonhole is automatically sized to fit your buttons. You also get six quick change sewing feet, a tremendous value. It's incredibly easy to change between feet. With just a touch of a lever, your needle is threaded for you. With the quick set, top, drop, and bobbin, there's no need to pull the thread up before use. And it's easy to see when you're low on thread. The LEDs give you a super bright work area to see details. Plus, you'll love how easy the instructions are to follow. Enjoy all the great built-in features, including accessories and brother support, with the reliable, easy to learn and use XM2701 from Brother. Welcome to the owner's class video for the Singer Heavy Duty Model 4411 sewing machine. In this video, we are going to go over what you need to know to get started, such as winding a bobbin, threading the needle, selecting a stitch, changing the needle, and more. Let's start by taking a tour of the machine. The first thing we're going to do is plug in the machine and turn it on. And you'll know the machine is on when the light comes on. We have the hand wheel, the bobbin winding stopper, the bobbin winding spindle, the handle, the spool pin where we'll put our thread, the stitch width dial to adjust the width of our stitches, the needle position dial, the tension dial to fine tune the look of our stitches, the bobbin winding tension discs, a metal threading guide, another metal guide, and here's the take-up lever. This will be really important when we thread the top of the machine. On the front we have the reverse lever to sew in reverse, the stitch length dial to adjust the length of our stitch, the stitch selector dial, and by the needle we have the all-purpose foot and the presser foot lifter to raise and lower our presser foot. Here we have the bobbin holder with a bobbin already inside. And we can take off the removable storage compartment to expose our free arm. And that's really great for sewing small circular projects like pants, hems, and cuffs. Behind the free arm is the drop feed lever. You can move that lever to drop your feed teeth and that is especially useful for sewing on buttons and free motion quilting. We can open our removable storage compartment to reveal our included accessories. These include some bobbins, needles, a spool cap, and some additional presser feet. Let's take a closer look at those presser feet. In addition to the all-purpose foot that comes on your machine, you get a buttonhole foot used for sewing buttonholes, a button sewing foot used for sewing on buttons, and a zipper foot used for inserting zippers, and it can also be used for inserting piping. Welcome to the owner's class video for the Singer Simple 3232 sewing machine. In this video, we're going to go over what you need to know to get started such as winding a bobbin, threading the needle, selecting a stitch, changing the needle, and more. Let's start by taking a tour of the machine. The first thing we're going to do is plug in the machine and turn it on. And you'll know the machine is on when the light comes on. On the side we have the hand wheel. On the top we have the bobbin winding stopper and bobbin winding spindle. The 
carry handle, the spool pin where we'll put our thread when we thread the machine, the stitch width dial to adjust the width of our stitches, the tension dial to fine tune the look of our stitches, the bobbin winding tension disc, a metal threading guide, another metal guide, the take up lever, which will be really important when we thread the machine. On the front, we have the reverse lever, the stitch length dial, and the stitch selector dial. Down by our needle, we have the built-in needle threader, the needle, the all-purpose foot, and behind the all-purpose foot, we have the presser foot lifter, which raises and lowers our presser foot. When we remove the accessory tray, we expose the free arm of the machine. And when we open the door, we have accessories inside. In this pouch, we have some essentials like needles, extra bobbins, a spool cap, and some additional presser feet, as well as a buttonhole foot. Let's take a look at some of those extra presser feet that come with our machine. In addition to the all-purpose foot that's already on your machine, you get the buttonhole foot for making buttonholes, the button sewing foot for sewing on buttons, and the zipper foot, used for inserting zippers into your projects, but it can also be used for piping. Now let's wind a bobbin. The first thing we need to do to wind a bobbin is take off the removable storage compartment and open the store. Here we'll find our bobbin case. Pull this little latch and remove the case. And retrieve your bobbin. This machine uses class 15 transparent bobbins. If you want to purchase more bobbins for your machine, make sure you purchase Singer class 15 transparent bobbins. To wind our bobbin, place a spool of thread onto the spool pin and cap it off with a spool cap. Bring the thread to metal guide number one and clip it in. Now I'm going to bring the thread down to number two, the bobbin winding tension discs, and make sure the thread is snug in between those discs. Then I'm going to bring the thread over to number three, which is our bobbin winding spindle. The bobbin doesn't have a designated top or bottom, so make sure you thread the thread in and out the top of the bobbin. Hold on to the thread tail and click the bobbin into place on the bobbin winding spindle. Make sure the bobbin is all the way on the spindle so that the thread doesn't accidentally wind around the spindle itself. Move the bobbin winding spindle over to the right, hold on to the thread tail, and press the foot control to begin winding. When the thread tail is buried, Clip the tail flush with the top of the bobbin and continue winding until the bobbin is full or until you have enough thread for your project. When you're done winding your bobbin, move the bobbin winding spindle back to the left, remove the bobbin, and clip the thread. Now we're ready to insert it into the machine. Now place the bobbin into the bobbin case and pull the thread to make sure the bobbin is rotating in a clockwise motion. 
place the thread into this groove and bring the thread under the metal plate. You will feel and hear it click into place. Now hold onto this latch on the front of the bobbin case and insert it and you will feel it set into place. This finger will be pointed up towards the top of the machine. The first thing I'm going to do before threading the top of my machine is raise the presser foot. Next, turn the hand wheel towards you so that the needle is in the highest position. You will also notice that the take-up lever is clearly visible. If you've just wound a bobbin, the top of your machine probably looks like this. Remove the thread from the bobbin winding tension discs. The thread is already in metal guide number one. Bring it around metal guide number two and bring it down number three. Do a U-turn at number four and bring it up to the take-up lever and go from the right to the left and bring it back down. You'll see the thread go into the eye of the take-up lever. Bring the thread down to number six and slip it into the guide right above the needle. This machine has a built-in needle threader. So bring the thread over to the metal hook and push down on the built-in needle threader so that it encompasses the needle. Bring the thread in between the two prongs and hold on to the thread to give it a bit of tension and release the built-in needle threader. In the back, there will be a little loop. Pull onto that loop and your needle is threaded. So there's one last thing we need to do before we sew on the machine. To draw up the bobbin thread, hold on to the upper thread and turn the handle towards you and make sure you lightly pull up on the upper thread tail. This way you'll be able to pull up a loop of the bobbin thread and place the threads under the presser foot towards the back of the machine. Close the door and put your removable storage compartment back on. Now we're ready to test sew a stitch.